proof by induction whenever i say proof by induction i have to prove that it is true for p of 1 since it is true for p of 1 i assume that it is true for p of k and i have to prove that it is true for p of k plus 1 now i go for the solution where my problem is n q minus n is divisible by 6 for every n greater than or equal to 1 So now I consider my p of n as n cube minus n. So when when my n is equal to one, my p of one is equal to one cube minus one, which is equal to zero. I say that it is divisible by six. So further, we also consider for n is equal to two and check out whether it is divisible by six. My p of two is equal to two cube minus two, which is equal to eight minus two, which is equal to six. So this is divisible by six. So for p of one, it is true. For p of two, it is true. So now I consider that for p of k also it is true. So when my n is equal to k, my p of k is equal to k power three minus k. Which is equal to some multiple of six. So now I can have my k cube is equal to some multiple of six plus k. Remember this. This we'll use it in the further. Now I consider my n is equal to k plus one. So my p of k plus one is equal to k plus one the whole cube. Minus k plus one. In the place of n, I substitute k plus one. So here I take k plus one commonly outside. So I'll have k plus one the whole square minus one. So this is equal to k plus one into k square plus two k plus one minus one. Plus one minus one will get cancelled, and I'll have k plus one into k square. Plus two k here. Now I have to simplify this, so I'll get k cube plus k square plus two k square plus two k. So this is k cube plus three k square plus two k. Now what I am going to do is in the earlier proof I have the value of k cube. I have the value of K cube. So I am going to substitute here. It is two k. So I am going to substitute the value of k cube here. So I'll be getting m of six plus k plus three square k square plus two k. So this is the value of my k cube. Some multiple of six plus k. Now two k. Now here some multiple of six plus one k. Plus three k square plus two k. Combine these two, so I'll be getting some multiple of six plus three k plus three k square. So now what I'm going to do is some multiple of six plus three k. Okay, now when I consider this k into k plus one, surely it is an even multiple. Surely it is an even Multiple. For example, if I take k is equal to one, my k plus one is equal to two, and it will become one is equal to two. If suppose when I take my k is equal to three, my k plus one is equal to four, and this will become three into four. So some way or other, this part is an even multiple. So what I do is I consider this as sum two into Some constant c. Since it is an even multiple, it is two into some constant c. So now, when I rewrite this equation, I'll be getting m of six plus three into two times some constant. So this is equal to m of six plus six into some constant. So I'm taking six commonly outside. I'll get m with C. So surely this is divisible by six, and I say that my p of k plus one is true. So now I have proved that my p of one is true, my p of k is true, 
and I have proved that my P of K plus 1 is also true. So it is true for all positive values of n.